Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a sing simple CDS view. Okay, so this is a CDS view I have already created and I'll be creating from scratch a simple CDS view. So the basically the CDS view what it will be doing is getting all the all the entries in the PO history table based on based on some of some of the values. Okay. So what we have to do is first thing we have to go is you have to have the HANA Studio already installed. Now here we have to go and click on new. Okay. And here you click on other objects. Okay. Click on other objects. And here you have to go generally you will not have this selected but you can once I have selected this before it keeps the history like SAP. So here I'll click next. Here you have to give the package so i'll be creating the package name as tmp okay so that's it and here i will oops, sorry here i will put the the name so i'll just put test and we'll say test yo one okay so now let me this one okay now here i'll say uh, some of all gr okay so something like that i'll do and uh, i'll give a description to you sum of all gr and i'll click on finish okay now it's done so now we have to code okay so here we have to code from so what i'm going to do is here first i'll give a name so the name would be suppose zst11 PO is okay. so I just put his two and here I'll put now I'm going to write my code okay so I'll be writing my code what I'm going to do is I'll be using suppose I will be using EKB okay that's my thing and here I will put in key okay and I'll put EKB dot ebln as po num okay and here then i'll put e dot ekb dot eblp as your sorry uh, p po line and the next one would be uh, sum okay i'll put uh, sum ekb dot dmbtr and i'll put as total and uh, here i think there is another thing i have to go what i'll do is i'll go into sap i hope sap is on Okay, and I'll go SC16 because here I'll go VK. No, it will be EKB here. I go and I know there is a field EK, this recap I want to take. Check. Okay, one. So, goods receipt I'll put. And uh, so, this is this from this, and I'll put this. And here I'll put where from EKB sum as this probably I have to put the where here it's where uh, here I'll put EKB V gap equals one okay and uh, we'll just no put uh, now I'll activate this okay so there's some errors so what's the error we can see the error by going click on this control this and here is the error so what's there the group by class okay yeah so where this and i put the group by group by kb dot ebln uh, comma ekb dot blp okay and uh, i just is this and 
I'll click on activate. I think I have to take that full stop out. That's the thing. It says okay, let's see. Have errors. Oops, I made a mistake in typing EBLP. Now I'll activate it. Let's see the error. The name this contains a non. Okay, that's fine. I'll just make it. So this these are things that is going to happen because you know I don't have a perfect thing now here. You see it's activated here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll click F8. If I hit F8, if you see it's all it's in a this is that thing. So here in this example, what we did is we created this thing and now what we are going to do is we are going to go and check in SAP backend okay so what I'm going to do is go here slash and SE 11 and I put CO ZST 11 and I put PO HIS that was the name so this one was the one PO history 2 and if you see this is the one that we created right you notice this is the name PO history and if I click on this this is our code you see here we can see this is our code and from here we can find it out okay so now if I want to see the entries I can see from here also okay so if I go and I click on this I get all this so this is very helpful so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel so we created our first CDS views with a sum with an aggregate function of sum. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, subscribe to it uh, and share it and have a great day.